so it's time to talk about some of these um, um, technologies that we're going to be working. I mean, not all of them. We already talked about um, a few of them. But um, what I do want to talk about is going to be the single page application um, and, you know, versus a server side rendering application. So why we, talk, we talked about this uh, before already. We, we started talking about how the WordPress side that I was showing you earlier was um, having to go back to the server to you know to check for pages and headers and all that other stuff and then send it back to the browser and things like that and then a react application wouldn't do that so you know and that's why we don't finish the entire website in the WordPress thing but we use WordPress just basically for data and actually build a website in a separate environment using react and Gatsby okay but let's get a little bit deeper into this because I really want you to understand how that works okay if you don't if you already know how single page application works and things like that then you can just skip this video and go on to the next one but uh, so up right now I want to show you kind of like the background on how this works so so this is the thing um, so when you have a service server side rendering website and I'm gonna show you show you basically what that means with this little diagram here so whenever you have a server side uh, rendering website meaning a website that doesn't use uh, react for example or something like that <clears throat> usually the user uh, uses you know the get some you know logs into the website or whatever or it just opens the website usually you know through the browser okay and and then the the browser basically re sends a request to the server wherever it lives right go daddy whatever and it sends a request to pull the site up okay and the site will load from being making a call to the server so that's going to happen no matter what even if it's a single page application it's still going to make a uh, it still has to go call the server where the website lives to make that that request that you know and then the server is going to send it's going to compile all the javascript all the html all this the css all this all the code that is necessary images everything content code all that markup markdown all that stuff it's going to compile all of that and then put it in the browser so the user can see it and that happens really quickly depending on your internet speed but <clears throat> what happens then is that whenever you go to the next page right you have a menu item and then you go to the about page for example you click on the about page and then now you're basically telling your server to give you back everything that you just picked up already all over again but for the about page that means that the, the header is going to come back again and the footer is going to make a, it's going to make a call for the logo it's going to make a call for everything that you already have on the screen that's kind of it's kind of it's kind of stupid really it is because if you already have it on the screen why have to go to the server and tell me you know i know you gave it to me already but I'm going to another page so I'm just gonna like give it to you so you can give it back to me again <laughs> it's kinda it's kinda you know silly so that's basically what server-side rendering will do for you and then um, and then we have what is called client-side rendering so client-side render which is more like a reactive uh, environment so just uh, somewhat like react or or view or angular so they're a little different so basically you you do make that call to to the server where you get you know you pick up all the stuff initially okay so that happens initially all you know that's fine that's normal okay and and then it loads up and then you go to the next page but now when you go to the next page because you only go into the next page only to get a specific content that is in that page and everything else that is kind of global to the website is already defined in a main layout you don't need to call that again all you basically are doing is making a call for that particular piece of content and any files or JavaScript HTML images whatever that you don't already have so it basically just calls back for just what they need and that makes everything so much faster because you only load the website once okay and then you just call content to fill in the blank as you need it so just to show you what this means in terms of speed and performance and things like that I wanted to show you two different websites here and one is going to be my um, uh, portfolio so this is my portfolio here and then another one is this one for a friend of mine actually I built this for a friend of mine and they run an MMA Academy and I actually do this I am an MMA fighter <laughs> there I am years ago 
when I was younger and heavier. <laughs> anyway, so um, so yeah, uh, great guys, these guys, and this is what we do, just knock each other out. <laughs> anyway, so I wanted to show you what this looks like. Okay, so um, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you with the inspect over here, and then I'm gonna go to network. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and reload this site. Okay. So maybe I should have this uh, here like that so I can see it. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do a reload while I am in the network. So you go to the dev tools and you do that by basically just clicking, right clicking on the website, hitting inspect, and then you'll end up with this window here. Okay, and then you click on the network tab and then you come over here to the site and then just refresh it. And look what's happening. Right? It's loading my entire website. Everything that you see here, these these are calls to the server. Right? The first thing that it's gonna call, it's gonna call these files right here. It's gonna call the domain first of all, obviously, and then it's gonna start calling all this stuff that it, that it, it lives in the site, it lives in the server. That is what's making the website show up, and then including some images, some SVG files. It's gonna make calls for all these different sorts of stuff. Some heavier pages over here that you know they took a little while to to load up but they're a little heavier i guess it's probably backgrounds and stuff in here so and then they are right now notice these are some icons and favicons and stuff like that so don't worry too much about that i know the 404 they shouldn't be red is bad but they're not really affecting my site so i'm not too worried about it so anyway so so we have the site here right now while i have that i'm gonna do the same thing for this one Okay, I'm going to right click here, inspect, I'm going to pull a different one, so this is for this guy, and I'm going to go to the network. Okay, and now I'm going to reload it, and here we go, start loading the entire site, right? This is the, the initial call to the server. Obviously, it's going to call the domain first, and then it's going to call the style sheets, and then some jQueries and stuff, a bunch of different JavaScripts, and got some capture recapture issues here some images <clears throat> more javascripts and blah 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 okay so i would say that because this website was also done correctly it's just not a single page application because it was done correctly it loaded in two minutes uh 2.17 seconds Sorry, not two minutes. <laughs> that would be horrible. It'll, it'll, it'll load it in 2.17 seconds. So that's a pretty fast load for a website that is not even um, uh, client side, that is server side. Okay, and my portfolio in 2.12 seconds, a little, little, little faster. Okay, but again, the reason why we got this one, the York MMA one, that fast is because despite being uh, multiple page application or server server side rendering website it's also very well done <laughs> you know I'm just gonna pat my own back uh, but if you don't have knowledge on how to make these websites like you know good and how to make them uh, um, efficient even if they are server side rendering websites then you could end up with like a huge load times here, like sometimes like 40 seconds, sometimes a minute, sometimes two minutes. Oh my God, that it, it, especially if it's a really big site. So now let's pay attention to some of the stuff here. If you look at the, my site again, back to this one, right? Louis De Silva, back to this one. Notice here, right? I'm at the bottom. This is the bottom right here. Notice I'm at the bottom. Now watch what happens as I scroll down. Look. It's starting to load more stuff now. I was at the bottom already, and then all of a sudden, starting to load all the stuff down here. Okay, so what it did was that it didn't load any of this stuff that you see here. Any of this stuff here, it didn't load this initially because it was outside of the window view. So that's one of the greatest things about single page application that are lazy when you have lazy loading. It's basically it doesn't if it's not visible to the user until he scrolls there's no need to bring it up in the browser and to have it served to the user you know which makes the loading time a lot slower why don't we wait until the user actually starts to scroll down and wants to see it and then they can start loading see that 
you see how they keep coming in right here look at this they're coming in just when I want them not all the time and there I'm at the bottom by this time when I head to the bottom the entire website is loaded but it loaded on the need to know basis now let's go over here and let's pick your game again and you notice how this is the entire website right here right so what happens let's see if this moves here as I start scrolling down nothing happens nothing moves okay maybe one which one yeah, some some video file at the end okay so that was it so basically what happened here was that it didn't reload more sources because everything was reloaded in one shot okay whenever the website got pulled from the server it brought everything okay and that's not really a great idea it's better to just show I mean why show all this stuff below this if I'm not even seeing it yet it should just show it it should just show this and then when I scroll then show this and then show this and then show this it should show it as I need to just like this one did this one showed me this stuff only when I scroll down to it not um, not when I was here so it, it started to show me this once I got to this point and then when I got to this point it loaded this SVGs and so on and so forth but now here's the coolest thing you, this is the the York MMA one right you see how the whole entire website is loaded watch what happens when I go to another page say the schedule for example look at that it loads the entire site all over again it went back to this page now and it started and it loaded the style CSS all over again font CSS so now it's starting to load the entire site all over again with the help of the cache of the browser cache it still was a, lo a pretty fast load only a minute and three seconds not a bad deal but still it had to make a request to the server to upload to download all of the stuff that it already had to begin with technically this was already there this was already there. all of this was already there the only thing that is different between the and this this all this stuff was already there too the only thing that is different from this page to the one that we had before is this area this 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 and this table so in a single page application all of this would have already been loaded onto the browser no need to call it again it would just bring me back this and that's it making the load time a lot faster let's see as an example I'm over here I shouldn't have to reload all of this this is already reloaded so now when I when I bring for example I go here it shouldn't reload all of that and I'm there I'm in a new site there again don't worry about these 404s this is completely irrelevant to this but it didn't bring any anything else different and, it, and you saw how it was really really fast loading up that site I can go back and go to this one and look how fast I mean it, there's no reloading there's no need to rebring all this back from the server so that's basically what a single page application does in comparison to um, a multiple uh, page application or whatever you call it whatever you know so so yep yeah, so that's that's the that's how I wanted to show you why we have this need of um, single page application frameworks like react and angular and things like that and you know and hope this makes a lot more sense and then we can now then uh, start into the coding part all right see you next time